let's get into this $700 Sam's Club grocery haul restock edition. If you're turning fan member, what's up, y'all? We back in that thing. So by the title of this video and that thumbnail, you see your girl has another $700 Sam's Club grocery haul. Restock edition. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. And once again, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button because we stay lit over here. Period. Anywho, if you do want to check out the video of us getting all these goodies today at our Sam's Club grocery shop, I'm going to go, to, go ahead and link that video down below so make sure you guys check that out exactly of us going shopping at sam's so without further ado let's get into this 700 dollars sam club grocery haul okay y'all so we get right into this haul with y'all so you already know if you're new to the channel um y'all know my four-year-old is lactose intolerant basically he cannot really deal with milk so we went ahead and got the latte milk for him um it comes in a pack of three um, they're half gallons, so this will, you know, he's the only one that really drinks this, so he really does like this milk. It hasn't given him any problems, he loves it, so we still buy this one, so this is the milk we get for him. Y'all know Mr. Legend drinks that. Next, bring y'all right along, we have some 250 count hefty paper plates for y'all. I love using paper plates. I don't know if I ever said this before, but yeah, I don't like doing dishes. I really don't. I have a big family, so less is better for me. Um, but yes, we do go ahead and get these and run these all the time for us. I love these. I don't, you know, we it's quick, easy for us to grab. These are 250. They come with a pack of 250, and I get these. They don't have the section ones, so really it's just a normal paper plate. I don't know if y'all, if someone asked if I get the, the ones that have, do they have like parts where you put different food at? No, it's just one paper, like a simple paper plate. Nextly, I want to shout out Tina Myers that commented on our last Sam's Club haul. She told me that canola oil is not good and it's it's really not good for you. So I appreciate her. I, we, we definitely look at the comments you guys drop below. That's why I would tell you guys go ahead and drop comments if you would like. But I saw the avocado oil that she did recommend, um, which we're going to try to try that on our next haul. I'm taking baby steps, y'all. I've, I've had canola oil my whole life, y'all. That's all my mom ever used to cook for us, and I just continue on with our family. So I did go ahead and end up getting us two vegetable oils instead, y'all. Um, I know it's not exactly the, the avocado oil that she recommended, but I'm taking baby steps, y'all. We taking them. We going to try. So I'm going to go ahead and see how I like this. Once again, we do have a big family, and the canola oil, I mean the vegetable oil, not the vegetable oil, sorry, the avocado oil, y'all, is like actually like a, a bottle like this big, and I have a family of like seven, so that really doesn't work for us, but I would definitely look into trying vegetable oil and see how that does, and then later on, I'll go ahead and try that. I will try to get a bottle of it to see how it cooks and everything, and you never know, we might end up buying that. Um, so we did go ahead and get vegetable oil, so shout out to Tina for letting us, you know, giving us a heads up about that stuff about the canola oil next i did end up getting um five dozen eggs from sam's i never really get eggs from them normally you guys know i normally buy my eggs from walmart but with thanksgiving and everything coming up i just want to pretty much get the eggs from there i was already there i'm like let me just shop and get everything i need to get from here so we did go ahead and get five dozen eggs from there it's uh cage free so i went ahead and got that Nextly, moving right along here, we have some Swanson chicken broth. Um, I'm starting it since it's crock pot season, you guys. I really love marinating my chicken and stuff like that for like my season and stuff with the chicken broth. So I went ahead and got that. Um, it does come in a pack of six. We probably won't even use all these, but I was like, I'm already here. I might as well just grab it. So we ended up getting chicken broth from them. Okay, nextly, I did get some hot dog buns because actually, you guys, this afternoon, I'm gonna go ahead and make chili dogs because I've been craving chili dogs, y'all, and that's what I want, okay? That's what exactly what I'm wanting to have today for lunch. Comment down below um, if you eat chili dogs because I know, I like, I, I love chili dogs, okay? So, we have a pack of 16 hot dogs. Home Pride is the brand for this. I've never had these hot dog buns. I really hate getting hot dog buns that break. So I'm hoping, they did have the Sarah Lee kind there as well, but I really didn't, I refrained from their hot dog buns. Last time I got their hot dog buns, they broke. And I really did not like that. So I ended up trying, I'm gonna try a different brand today, so I ended up getting this. this. 
Okay, sorry you guys, my battery died. So basically, I'll tell you guys about these hot dog buns. I'm gonna try them and see if they don't break because the last hot dog buns, when we normally do chili dogs, they don't do so well. And y'all know it's still like 80 degrees in Arizona, so we can still grill and stuff. So definitely get, went ahead and got us some of those. Next, I did go with uh, the Sara Lee white uh, whole grain bread. This is the bread I love to eat. It's, it's soft, moist, everything. I love it. So I ended up getting two packs of these. So we have four of these. Well, four, you know, uh, loaves of bread. Um, but I got two packs. So we went ahead and got that. This is my favorite bread to use. You guys already know that. Next, we got a pack of 12 English muffins. I'm definitely gonna start making my own breakfast sandwiches for the kids because they, I get up enough time, I have enough time now to be able to make them breakfast, so I'm gonna try to start doing that more. Next, we have two packs of sour cream. I told y'all I love sour cream. I put sour cream in everything. So y'all, that's really self-explanatory. Uh, next, I got some Bee Proud Pure Honey. I just saw it really on sale and I was like, I'm gonna grab me some. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace the old honey that we got from Walmart and just use this. I never tried this brand before, so this will be my first time trying it. I really love honey on my biscuits. And pretty much, especially with the cold weather happening with the kids getting sick, I do like to do natural remedies to try to get them better instead of using cold medicine. So I'm definitely gonna give this a try. Um, next, we have uh, syrup. <laughs> I did go ahead and get the big kind of syrup this time because we do go through syrup a lot in this house. Definitely for pancakes, waffles, breakfast sandwiches, all that good stuff. So I did end up getting that. Nextly, we did end up getting some chili with beans. I love doing this, especially when I make my chili dogs. Even when I make homemade chili, I throw this in there sometimes if I'm definitely having like an easy night or something like that. It does come in a pack of six. This is my first time actually getting chili from Sam's Club. So I'm definitely gonna try it. I love the brand anyway, so it shouldn't be any different, but we just got a bigger size because of the fact that I normally end up buying three, two to three cans anyways. So I'm like six is a better deal for what I'm trying to get. Next, we went ahead and we got diced tomatoes. Definitely like this for my spaghettis, my chilies, really anything. I really do like the diced tomatoes. They're easy to put in crock pot meals too. You get 12 of these cans for a pack of 12. So there's 12 cans in there. So I'll definitely use that when I make my chilies and things because we are in that type of weather now. Next, I have my cheese sauce. Y'all know I like to use this for my nachos or just dip it with some chips or something. But I love putting this on my broccoli too, which is really, really good. So I went ahead and did two packs of cheese sauce. So here's the other one. Okay, nextly, we have our butter. I love this butter. I mean, it's never stirred me wrong. This is the kind that we use, um, the country crock kind, the big pan. They actually had this tub at Sam's. I was really shocked because I normally just buy it at Walmart. So I went ahead and got us some butter. Nextly, we got some pancake mix. They, this pancake mix did really good in our house. They didn't seem a difference from the normal other pancake mix that I only get from Walmart. So, and like I said, I do have a big family, so this will last us for a while. So I pretty much just put in a Tupperware that we have and then just use it as we need it. But we did get some pancake mix. Okay, next I got some Bush's black beans. Um, even though I do get the normal other beans that you can like boil on your own and stuff like that, I do like the canned ones as well too. When I make like Chipotle bowls and things like that, if I wanna just have a, a bean soup or something like that, I definitely went ahead and got black beans. And y'all already know if you're not, if you're new, if you've been here a while and you're one of our family members here, you guys know I love my pinto beans. So I ended up getting some of those too, especially for Chipotle bowls once again, or bean soup when we decide to do that. So next, we have broccoli cheddar soup, you guys. I saw this and I was like, I'm definitely gonna try this. So I'll definitely let you guys know how I like this ch uh, broccoli cheddar soup. It comes with two, it's actually two big things of this in here. So I'm definitely, I'll probably end up doing this in a, the crock pot and just making it slow cook, like just pretty much warm it up. So I'll probably do that. But this thing's really good with some crackers. So I wanna give this a try. Comment down below if you have tried their broccoli cheddar soup from Sam's Club because this will be our first time trying it. Next, we have some yams, you guys. I do like these yams a lot, the canned ones. We do normally do Thanksgiving. Depending on if we're busy working, we will use these, or sometimes we will use the um, potato, you know, sweet potatoes. But 
these are the ones I do like to cook for like little side meals and stuff like that when I make um, my dishes for my family. I normally put cinnamon, sugar, and butter in it and it's so good, like I love it. And we put, sometimes we put marshmallows in it. It would be bomb, y'all. So definitely um, got me some yams for us. I know for Thanksgiving, I think my mom says she wants to get the sweet potatoes, so those will probably be gone anyways. Yeah. Nextly, we have some uh, Velveeta cheese and shells, or shell and cheese. Um, it comes in a pack of eight. Um, so pretty much this, this macaroni I bought last time did really good in my house. And I'm like, I might as well just keep that momentum going with this. So we're gonna, I went ahead and got a bigger box. I think I went to Walmart last time and bought like two boxes to see how it would do. And they liked it. So I went ahead and when I saw that Sam's Club, I made sure I grabbed um, a box of that. Oh yeah, and then you guys, the yams came with a pack of four. So I didn't tell you guys that, but yeah, the yams did come with a pack of four. Nextly, the green beans are a pack of eight. Um, I do like using these type of vegetables. Green beans are a favorite, so I really do like making green bean casserole, things like that. Um, definitely do like green beans. Like, we love green beans. They didn't have mixed vegetables this time, and normally I liked the mixed vegetables. They did really good in our house, but they didn't have it, so I'll probably have to get that from Walmart when we go there. Next, I got some tuna. A pack of 12. Is it a pack of 12? Yeah. pack of 12. Y'all know I like to make tuna, tuna salad, whatever, so... We went ahead and went back with the same tuna we got last time, which was really good. I actually like it. And then I went ahead and did the cream of mushroom soup. I normally use my soups when I do my crock pot meals, you guys. And it saves me a lot of time for like sauce and stuff like that. Um, it does come with a pack of eight, a can, eight cans in here. So I pretty much use two per dish when I do something. So we definitely went ahead and got some cream of mushroom soup. Nextly, I saw this at Sam's and I said I definitely want to try it. I'm holding it like it's a baby. But we have some healthy choice cans of soup and it has chicken noodle. You have five chicken noodle cans. You get five chicken, uh, chicken with rice cans. With it being flu season, you guys, and it being fall, I just want something quick for the kids to grab if we do have someone get sick or something or, you know, doesn't feel well. They don't feel like eating something real heavy or things of that. So I did want to go ahead and get something a little bit more easy and convenient for the kids as well. But like I said, I really got it because it's, uh, my kids are starting to get sick a little bit. So I just want to have something on deck for them to use when they don't have a taste for anything. I'm definitely going to let you guys know how I like that. But you get 10 cans of soup, which is nice. Um, nextly we have some spring mix. I normally do not get, um, my salad mixes from Sam's Club. This is the first time I ever did that as well. So I will let you guys know. I like how big the bag is and stuff like that. And I'm pretty sure it'll be gone because I like to make salads and things of that. But I normally go to Walmart for that. But I went ahead and got the spring mix from here. And I'll show you guys exactly how I like that too as well. Um, nextly, my older son is into asparagus, you guys. So I went ahead and bought some uh, fresh asparagus. I'll probably end up making this with like when I make baked chicken or something like that on the side for a vegetable for them. So we are increasing our veggie intake, which I like. Um, so we're definitely gonna try this. I personally tried asparagus once or twice and I did not like it. So I'm gonna see if I season it a little bit, saute them a little bit. Comment down below how you make your asparagus because I would definitely take the recipe and try to make them um, because the last time I had it, somebody else made it for me and I didn't like it. So <laughs> hopefully I'll let you guys know how it turns out. Um, but my older son does like try it. He loves asparagus. So we're gonna, I'm gonna try that, use that for a meal one day. Nextly, I got some jumbo cooked shrimp um, with the tails on. Normally I'll take the tails off anyways when I do cook it. I like to make my shrimp scampies with this. Um, pretty much anything, butter and noodles, whatever. But I do have shrimp and I love shrimp, you guys. I do really, really do. Especially when I saute it with butter. Oh my goodness, it's so good. But I did get a, get, go ahead and get a big bag of these. Um, it's a three, what is it, three pounds? Yeah, it's a three pound bag. So I definitely didn't know Sam's had shrimp like this. I thought normally, because Walmart, you know they have the smaller bags, but I feel like for the price that they were, I'm definitely gonna probably go back and get my shrimp from there. Nextly, we have the broccoli. You guys know this comes in a pack of four. Y'all know we love broccoli here, but I did go ahead and run back the broccoli for the kids because I do. This is like their favorite vegetable is broccoli. And green beans. And green beans. 
Nextly, you guys, I found the mini tacos, you guys. Last time we went grocery shopping, you guys, I could not find these mini tacos for the, the life of me. I could not. So we went ahead and ran back the mini tacos. I do like to make these in the oven or the air fryer, whichever one you prefer. I definitely use like sour cream and the salsa to dip them. Oh my goodness, they're so good. So I definitely went ahead and got two packs of the mini tacos. We were able to find them. So here's both of those. And then next, you guys, I did end up getting the Sam's Club chicken wings, um, the big bag. I think this is like $27. I'll make sure I drop the prices down below. Um, but we went ahead and got these chicken wings. This, this, this whole bag with my family will last us, I believe, for a good two to three weeks. I want to say probably longer because we don't really eat chicken like that every day. But it's a nice amount for a family of six or seven. So I definitely do enjoy using this chicken. So that will last us a very long time. Okay, next for you guys, I have the chicken breast. Normally you guys know I get my chicken breast from um, Walmart, but I, like I said, I didn't go this time. So I, I'm gonna try this chicken breast out and see how I like it. I normally like the thin one. It doesn't say it's thin, it just says skinless and boneless so i'm gonna try and let you guys know i do like the fact they're a lot bigger and it's a 10 pound bag so i do like that it's a lot bigger um the uh chicken breasts are a lot bigger than the ones that i get from walmart so i'm definitely gonna check these out the chicken wings i'm sorry guys those were actually a 10 pound bag as well okay you guys nextly um i have some chicken crispy chicken strips you guys i'm going to use these chicken strips really mainly for my kfc bowls um the kids love when i make them and use these i did one time we ran out of these and i had these chicken nuggets so either way it's good but i went ahead and got uh, some of these um any time for fries whatever you can add fries with it or whatever but i normally just use these for my kfc bowls when i make that for the kids um nextly i got some chicken nuggets the dino nuggets um my four-year-old loves these like i said he's into that chicken nugget phase right now um, so I went ahead and wanted to sp uh, spruce it up a little bit for him, y'all. And I got the dinosaur kinds for him. So he'll definitely eat these. He loves the little, you know, the dinosaur pictures and everything on them. So definitely got these for him instead of the Tyson ones. So I definitely like these. Last a lot longer than um, the other ones, in my opinion, in my house. Um, nextly, I did go ahead and get some Nathan's. Hot dogs, they come in a pack of 24. These are the ones I use when I do regular hot dogs, chilies, uh, ch uh, chili hot dogs, whatever. These are my favorite hot dogs, I love. Nextly, I got some uh, croissants, uh, sausage, egg and cheese. They are a pack of 12. Good for on the go for breakfast if we are in a hurry, we don't have time. So definitely got these for them. You guys, I didn't even know this, but I went to Sam's you guys and I found biscuits normally you guys know I like the pack of two um and I normally get those from Walmart you pretty much pop them in they said they're granny southern homestyle buttermilk biscuits air fry ready baked straight from the freezer so I'm gonna let the I'm gonna try these and let you guys know so this is a new item that we are trying so I'll let you guys know how I like these biscuits um nextly you guys know that we love to do our french toast in this house you cannot beat this they did so good last time in our house 56 you guys for like nine bucks. I love these French toasts. Like, oh my goodness. I can eat these every day if I could. But definitely these do really good in our house. So I definitely had to run those back for the kids because they do love these French toast sticks. Next to you guys, I don't know if I'm probably the only parent. Comment down below. When I always make spaghetti, I always have to wait until I'm about to make it or any type of pasta. And y'all run out of garlic bread too fast. So you know what, Sam's has this cold garlic Texas toast, 32 slices, and it's just like the regular garlic bread. You know, normally we get like, what, 10, six or eight of them, and these come with 36. So I would never run out of garlic bread anymore, you guys, because I brought the big box from Sam's. And you get 32 slices. So I'm definitely gonna be ready when I'm ready to make pasta. <laughs> we definitely are in, in, in ready for that. Okay, next thing y'all know, I'm, I shouldn't be buying no candy, but I did. Halloween was just around the corner yesterday, so I don't know why I'm even buying candy bars. But anyways, these were actually on sale, um, so I ended up getting a pack of 30 full-size candy bars, you guys, and they come with Kit Kats, Hershey's with almonds, Reese's, and um, regular Hershey bars. My husband likes these, y'all. These, are, wait, where are they at? These, these will be gone. He gone, I gotta hide them from them. So, I definitely went ahead and got these for us, especially when it's movie night or we do something with the kids. 
definitely can be like a little reward thing for them when they're doing good. So we have that. Nextly, we got two um, Fruity Pebbles. I went ahead and got Fruity Pebbles again. Y'all know the kids love Fruity Pebbles um, cereal. So you know I had to go ahead and get the two pack. It comes with two bags, two bags in here. So these are for the kiddos. Nextly, I got the variety pack for myself. Sometimes when I do like to eat cereal, I don't know the kinds that I like or don't, I, we wanted a certain kind and I don't have it. I don't really want to buy like 10 boxes of cereal. So I went ahead and got the variety pack from there. It's 25 mini boxes. You get four pops, you get six Fruit Loops, five uh, Apple Jacks, six Frosted Flakes, and then you get four Cocoa Crisps. So definitely something if the kids don't really feel like eating Fruity Pebbles, they can just try one of the variety packs that I have. Um, next. We did go back and get our classic mix, mix of cookies, the 40 pack. You know, we get 10 Oreos, 10 Chips Ahoy, six Ritz Bites. Y'all know these are my favorite, the Teddy Graham ones. I'm worse than the kids when it comes to eating these. We get six of those and then we get eight Nutta Butter Bites. So once again, I have to run this back in the house because you guys, we love these so much. I didn't get two boxes today. I only got one because of the fact that, you know, Thanksgiving, I gotta make room for everything else. I'm pretty sure all this stuff will be gone too. I'll have to do another grocery haul with y'all. Nextly, you know we went with the uh, the Twinkies and the Ding Dongs or whatever. So another, we got these. They are 32 count. You get 16 Ding Dongs and 16 Twinkies. So y'all already know if you if you've been here, you already know who these are for. Comment down below if y'all remember who these are for. Definitely, y'all know. I know y'all know. Um. Nextly. We have, okay, I'm gonna do the drinks last. But nextly, we have, you guys, they have these pajama sets. Like, when I tell you, I'm actually gonna have to take y'all with me when we do, like, the kids' shopping fall, shopping clothes or whatever for, like, winter. I normally go winter clothes shopping for them. I found these pajamas for my one and my four-year-old. Y'all forgot that quick. Um, and I wanted to try these out. They were on, I think they were, like, $10 a piece, which isn't bad. You get two of them. So they have two pajama sets. I didn't see any for my older son or my, my 11 year old, so I'm gonna have to go back and get them some pajamas for somewhere else. I think they were sold out, but really, it's really cute. They have um, dinosaurs and like army fatigue, and then the next one is like just all dinosaurs for him, which I feel like these are cute. Like I like that Sam's has a variety of that. And then the little girl one I have for Legacy, we got her the unicorns, and it's like unicorns on the back for like a maroon one, so. Definitely pajamas is around the, it's that, it's that time in Arizona. It is colder, a little bit chillier in the morning. So this would be nice for them to have for that. And then nextly, we got a 40 count of Capri Sun. Y'all know I have to do all the drinks for them because these kids, I would not be right if I don't get them their drinks. So with the fruit, we got fruit punch, strawberry, kiwi, and Pacific Cool. So we have that for them. I'll move this out the way. Okay, next, you guys know we got a pack of apple juice, 24 pack. This will be gone, y'all already know. All these drinks will be gone, but they, they love it. Next, I went with Sprite, 24 pack. I did do the bottles this time instead of the actual cans because I feel like the bottles, if they don't finish it, they can just put it in the fridge or something like that. So I feel like it saves, you can save a lot bit more. And then lastly, I have, um, well down here, we have 24 uh, pack of Coca-Cola. Y'all know my mom likes to drink those and take those to work. Um, and then we have some Gatorade. We have 28 packs and you get 12 ounce bottles of all the flavors. You know, we did fruit punch, lemon lime, and orange. And then down here we have uh, Dr. Pepper. We did another, we did bottles for this as well. We got 24, uh, a pack of 24 for that. We did get water from them. Normally I get my water from Fry's or Walmart, but I went ahead and got it from Sam's today. And we got a count of 40 water bottles, just regular water, you guys, nothing nothing special. No, nothing special at all. And then we have uh, a 30 pack of variety chips. Let me go ahead and get that for you guys so you guys can see that. So we went ahead and got, y'all know when it's open, that means the kids already attacked it. You especially when I took too long. So we got the um, mix of chips. We got six Cool Ranch Doritos, uh, five Flavor Twist Honey Barbecue. We have eight Rough Cheddar and uh, Sour Cream, six Cheeto Puffs, and five Funyuns. So we went ahead and switched it up. Y'all know we normally buy that bowl pack, but we went ahead and went with the blue one today. And then we also got a 50 pack of Flavor Mix, one with the purple box. 
We get barbecue, Lay's barbecue, Lay's salt and vinegar, the sun chips, um, the harvest and cheddar, 16 Cheetos and eight Cool Ranch and eight chili cheeses. And I do like the chili cheeses when I make like chili and stuff um, to use that and they're really good. I'm pretty sure they'll be gone before I'm even able to do, use those for chili, to be honest. So that's our haul, you guys. I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, if you haven't already, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and join the fam. And I will see you guys in our next video.